Hello and welcome today on BOI Weekly. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju continues to drive efforts making life much easier for micro, small and medium enterprises in the country as he visits Niger State for the official flag off of the MSME clinics as well as market activation for the Jeep Trader Money Social Intervention Program in the state. Also on the show today, the Bank of Industries sponsors some of its clients to attend the Intra-Africa Trade Fair, IATF, in Egypt, organized by the African Export Import Bank, Afrexim Bank. Some of these chosen participants are local manufacturers of leather products, while others play in the petrochemicals and packaging industries. They are all grateful to the Bank of Industry for giving them the platform to engage potential regional customers. I am Coyote Alayade. Welcome to the program. Niger State, North Central Nigeria, remains the largest state in the country. Named after River Niger, it retained the name of NAFTA. The northwestern state was divided into Niger and Sokoto states in 1976. With a population of roughly 6 million people and a land area of 76,363 square kilometers, the people there are predominantly farmers. Evidently, they trade in their abundant agricultural commodities. Traders in Niger State are next in line for the federal government's social intervention program, JEEP. It's a microcredit, non-collateralized scheme promising funds of between 10,000 and 100,000 naira to artisans, petty traders, as well as market men and women all across the country. In the last two years, the Vice President, Professor Yemil Shimbaju, has been at the forefront of the campaign being executed by the Bank of Industry. The goal is to empower over two million petty traders and artisans across the country. <laughs> On this occasion, the Vice President is in Niger State to flag off the MSME clinic and the market activation of the Jeep Trader Money. It's a carnival out here as existing beneficiaries of the intervention program display their wares. Welcoming the Vice President, Professor Yemil Shimbajo, the Governor, Alahaji Abubakar Sani Belo, praises him for doggedly pursuing the federal government's social intervention programs. It is a reality that micro, small, and medium enterprise SM, MSMEs are the main component for economic growth and development. It is also the most potent key factor in promoting direct private sector investments and participation in the growth of the economies of nations around the world. He anticipates the impact the MSME clinic would have on businesses in the state while pledging the state's support for the federal government's effort. This has had tremendous impact on the operations productivity and competitiveness of MSMEs in the state, thereby enhancing entrepreneurship development in the state. So far, a total of 12,333 people, out of which 7,645 are women, have benefited from the fund, which is expected to stimulate the state's economy and propel the evolution of small-scale enterprise establishment across the state with the multiplier effect of creating new jobs. As we can also see, 210 out of the 300 exhibitors you just inspected were among the beneficiaries. Your Excellency, we are delighted that having the National Micro Small Medium Enterprise Clinic in Niger State will further enhance the, uh, the ability of our ministries, departments, and agencies as facilitators of businesses to bring about increased foreign exchange earnings through exports. The Vice President, Professor Yemil Shimbajo, begins with a word of encouragement for the state regarding the development of MSMEs. First, let me say how very uh, pleased I am and very excited to see all that is going on 
in Niger State, especially from the MSMEs. I think that Niger State has shown, has shown the way for the development of MSMEs. And from what we've seen, just from the exhibition alone, and from what we have read, it's very obvious that Niger State is very far ahead in terms of development of MSMEs. I must congratulate you, and especially His Excellency the Governor, for the leadership that has produced so many excellent results. This is what, this is what President Muhammad Buhari had in mind when he asked that we begin the MSME clinics the MSME clinic is really a response to the fact that we recognize that MSMEs are the most important business component of our economy. They are the most important. In any economy, if you, what small businesses contribute is really the structure, is the, is the superstructure of the economy. And that is why the president decided that we must have these clinics in every state of the federation. So for the past two years, we've been going around state by state, flagging off MSME clinics and one-stop shops. What we do as an MSME clinic is that we bring from the federal government all of the regulatory agencies. So here today, you will have uh, NAFDAQ, you have SON, you have the Corporate Affairs Commission, you have the Bank of Industry, you have the FIRS, and all the regulatory agencies, so they come under one roof. The idea is that they are able to assist the MSMEs and answer the questions that MSMEs may have. He then goes ahead to explain the purpose of the Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program. Uh, this is one of the very important points for the President, that all our small businesses deserve to be supported, that we must support them, especially with cheap credit. That is why the Bank of Industry has designed what is called uh, the Government Enterprises and Empowerment Program, GEEP. Under the GEEP program, we have two types of loans. One is called the market money, and the other is called the trader money. Market money is for, you know, has fairly high level small businesses. So we can give between, say, 100,000 to 350,000. And we usually give that to cooperatives or to persons who already exist within a cooperative or who are members of a cooperative. But trader money is the one for petty traders. So we give this money, 10,000 Naira, a small loan of 10,000 Naira to petty traders. The petty trader is a very, very small trader. Somebody who is a, a meshai or somebody who is just selling ground nuts, who just has a tray or a tabletop their whole inventory may not be up to 5,000 Naira. But when we give you that 10,000 Naira, and we give you, of course, it's done on an electronic platform, it is passed through your phone, when we give it and you pay back within a six-month six period, you are immediately entitled to 15,000. When you pay that back, you are immediately entitled to 20,000. And it goes on and on like that until you're eligible for up to 100,000. Professor Shimbajo further explains the concept of the Shared Facility Initiative, a new intervention program to help MSMEs to scale up their production capacities. We know that many MSMEs cannot afford the price of rent or, in some cases, machinery. So, for example, if you have a group of tailors who come together, many of them may be able to afford their own machines. But embroidery machinery, for example, or the kind of machinery that is used to make the monograms, the sorts of things that we see, for example, you want to make, you want to write APC on a monogram and all that. The machines that are used for doing so effectively and in multiple numbers, a small business, one individual tailor may not be able to afford it. So what we've done, the federal government has done in collaboration with state governments, is that we will buy those machines, we will also provide power, and we will provide the facility so that there will be a big space which has power, which has machines and all that. So that small businesses, MSMEs can go there and take the space for some hours during the course of a day, 
and rent that space and use it for their own uh, for, for their own businesses. Later on, we went into Kure Market to see how the program activation was unfolding. The Bank of Industries enumerators for the Jeep Trader money are already on ground and rolling new beneficiaries, gathering and imputing the trader's biometric data. The Bank of Industries executive director, Micro Enterprises, Mrs. Tonya Deniji, explains the program's objectives. The social investment programs um, started, you know, it's um, a, a program of this administration. And so Jeep is one of the products under the social intervention program. We've been doing a market money, farmer money, trader money in the last three years. So um, it's not um, something new. It's something that has been in the markets for the last three years. And, um, you know, it's um, available to all Nigerians that benefit. You have to be in a market like this. We have to see that you are selling in this kind of market. And so we register you at your point of trade. We register you, we capture you in our database. And once you get processed through our database, you get, um, um, you get value on your mobile phone because it's a mobile wallet that we use. Once you get value on your mobile wallet, you're able to turn that into cash. So as long as you're a petty trader, irrespective of um, you know, your status, you will you will benefit for the loan. It's very easy to qualify. The objective is financial inclusion and to make sure that every citizen is empowered. Um, access to finance is a major problem for all businesses at every level. So either you're a micro, um, an SME, a large company, access to finance is um, critical to the success of any business. So this administration has seen it fit to make sure that even people at the bottom of the pyramid are able to access finance without any hassle. Um, so this program has been created especially to meet the needs of, um, of micro-entrepreneurs. Um, the idea is um, empowerment. Um, by adding, giving them loans to be able to um, increase their capital, they can add to their product, they can sell more, and they can earn more money. And this spirals down. We've had um, instances where people have employed you know, an assistant, employed other people with this um, um, capital. We've had instances where people have started a business, where people have doubled their business. So we've had um, very successful stories all across the country. And Niger State, we've also had very, very um, powerful testimonials. The petty traders themselves are excited that they can feel the direct impact of what the federal government is doing. I registered first. As I registered, they now text for me. I received the alert. I now meet them. They now send the money to me. To my account. Yeah, actually, I'm very happy for this money government give to me because I was not having anything. But I pray for this government to continue to grow strength by strength. God to continue to give the power to help us. To help us. Like me, I'm a widow. He helped me. I pray for that, that we continue to rule Nigeria better.